come to your digital freedom definition, because uh, usually mm -hmm. digital freedom is assigned with freedom of speech, whereas you're talking mm -hmm. more about the freedom of living anywhere in the world and connecting yeah. from anywhere in the world, as long as yeah. the connection is good. So give us the definition of Nikki's digital freedom. The definition of Nikki's digital freedom is that you no longer have to buy into to work a nine to five. You must be based in an office and you must do a traditional job. Digital freedom for me was about all I need in my life to create income is a mobile phone and or a laptop. And you could have one or the other actually because mobile phone devices are almost like a mini laptop now and I can work from anywhere. So it gives me the freedom to be able to style my work-life balance or it gives me the freedom, as we've already said, to monetize the talent. Am I a writer? Am I creative? Do I do gardening? And I want to put a camera in the garden and show people how to do gardening. It could be absolutely anything that you can monetize. And I knew from many years ago that people were making profitable incomes from this kind of living. It's, it's more commonplace now to know that you can make a good income. You can match or go above what you would get in a, a salaried job. So that's what digital freedom is. It is, you just need a device and you can work from anywhere. It gives you freedom. And everybody's definition of freedom is different. My freedom is I like to travel. I have wanderlust. I'm a nomad. Even in the UK, I've lived in different places. So I like that. As I said, another woman's freedom might be that she wants to be home with the children more. Maybe she's had a baby and she wants to have more time at home with the baby. There's all different definitions of freedom, but the freedom is that you dictate how you work and how you live through these connectivity provided by tools, unified communications tools, Skype, Zoom, StreamYard, Microsoft Teams. Because as you said, everything's there free. It's free. The internet yeah. is there. Well, we pay for Wi-Fi, obviously, but it's there. It's free and it's to be used for our greater good. What would you say are three main things that you need to focus when you're building your digital mm. emporia? Well, I would say kind of identify what you're passionate about. Because like I say, the beauty of digital freedom is that you can monetize pretty much any passion from being a clothes designer or a makeup enthusiast or just somebody who likes to talk to camera and host videos like this, you can monetize it, you can create a, a business. Then I would say just start being visible online because for me, I've been found on different platforms, LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook, and it's led to opportunities or me finding clients. Also, you don't have to be perfect to show up online. You can just go live, make mistakes, be shy, tell people, oh, I'm a bit scared about being live because actually that's part of being human. And it's also part of personal branding, like show up as your authentic self. So I'd say identify what you think you've got to give to people or what you want to monetize. It can be more than one thing as well. And then I would say, start showing up online, pick a platform, pick Instagram, pick Facebook. It doesn't have to be live at first, just post something. And I would say, just start telling your story maybe, just start posting and look at accounts that you probably admire and try and mimic some of the things that they do in their accounts. How do they post on Instagram? What styles do they use? Do they use videos? Do they use reels? Do they use photos of themselves, lifestyle shots? And the third thing, I would just say, work on your mindset as well, because it, even in 2022, it's not commonplace for people to say, do you know what, nine to five isn't for me. I'm gonna start my own digital emporium or empire. Empire might sound like a big word, but I will tell you that people are making 10,000 pounds a month from digital products and monetizing different elements, eBooks. So it's visibility online, start today, start now. Set work on your mindset so that you overcome the fear of doing something different to what the mainstream people are doing, although it's becoming more commonplace for people to create digital freedom funnels or to set up a blog and monetize it. There's some women that I've been following for many years. So I saw them at the beginning of their journey and I see them now. And most of them are millionaires because they just kept going. And they just started from a basic blog. Then they went and built a little bit of social media presence. Then they probably started getting invited to things like this to speak. Maybe they had a podcast. Maybe they built their YouTube because it is about building blocks with digital you have to kind of be across platforms because you have to build digital touch points where people can validate who you are. And you don't need to have a thousand or million followers to generate business from the internet space. You just have to keep showing up consistently. That's the main thing I think, show up. Keep showing up consistently. Someone will see you and want your service product or just your vibe.